Well, as we told you earlier, the Green Bay Packers say that Jordy Nelson sustained a significant right knee injury in yesterday's game and will miss the remainder of the season. The Packers didn't say specifically what Jordy's injury is, but it is probably a torn ACL. This is a devastating injury for one of the team's most important players. Mark Sherry is a physical therapist and he is the sports rehabilitation manager at UW Health at the American Center. Nice to see you. See. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So we don't know for sure, but is the, would you suspect it's a torn ACL? if it's an injury that's going to keep him out for the rest of the season? Well, you know, for non-contact injuries that take you out for the whole year, there's not many things other than an ACL injury. So I, I would, if I was a betting man, that's probably what I'd put my money because on. Because he just, he just collapsed. He wasn't right. hit. So what, what, yeah. what happens? What, what, what's the problem here? Well, the ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. So if we look at a knee here, uh, this is the femur. And between the femur and the tibia is this ligament right here, which is called the ACL or the anterior cruciate ligament. And you can see that it fits pretty tightly between the medial and lateral femoral condyles here. So what happens is the pivoting maneuver almost shears off that ligament oh, right in the oh middle. Boy. And so most of these injuries are non-contact injuries. It doesn't even look like much happens, but if you play it in slow motion, you can see that the knee actually dislocates for a second and then relocates. Bad design. Um, so <laughs> Bad design yeah. for and football, anyway. Yeah. 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 So is it an injury that usually requires surgery? What is the, um, what's the therapy? Well, that's a good from? question. For athletes, it does require surgery in most cases, and that's because the ACL is the primary stabilizer for cutting and pivoting movements of the knee. So if Jordy Nelson decided that he wanted to be a competitive cyclist and move he probably won't need it but for cutting and pivoting activities you definitely um, have to have it reconstructed and, and and that's an important thing too it's not repaired you're not taking the torn tissue and repairing it together you're actually replacing it with a graft. Oh wow. So for us mere mortals we probably wouldn't have surgery we would just. Well uh, at UW Health we see I mean I've seen nine-year-olds with ACL reconstructions and I've seen 50-year-olds with, with ACL reconstruction so it's more about what type of activities you're getting back to so if you're getting back to men's soccer league on on Tuesday night, you probably still need to have it reconstructed. But Any, do you think this could potentially be a career-ending injury for Jordy, or is the recovery usually? Well, do people usually make a good? I think recovery? the key there is usually that uh, we're getting to the point now where uh, surgery is pretty good, rehab is pretty good, so most people are returning to the same level of competitive athletics that they were at previously. But it's not all, and I think that's the key thing to remember. Um, I think if you look at the research, it'll say about 70% of people return to the competitive level that they injured it at. But, you know, he does have the resources at his disposal to get back. And, and we've seen, you know, recent cases of Adrian Peterson coming back. Right. And there are a lot of success stories, but there are also those who haven't made it back. So. Are you increased risk coming back once you've had this injury? Yeah, you are, but actually the interesting uh, statistic is you're more at risk for injuring the ACL on your other side, which is what we call a contralateral injury. And there's still a lot of research being done about that. Is that because of the injury that you've had on this side, or is it because of something about your genetics and anatomy that just predisposes you to that injury in general? We don't really know the answer to that yet. But Where on the knee is your MCL? We hear about that a lot too. Yeah, so you, your MCL stands for medial collateral ligament. So that's the broad oh, ligament on the on inside. The and then yeah. you also have a lateral collateral on the outside. So again, you know, ACL injuries are not always the same. And it's important not to compare one person's ACL to another person's. You, the point you bring up is a good one, which is if you have an ACL tear and an MCL tear, you know, that's more significant than an ACL alone. You can also have ACL tears that combine with meniscus injuries. So the amount of concomitant injury that you have with the ACL also definitely affects the timetable for return as well as the prognosis. And he's not coming back for the rest of the season. They announced that today. So. Oh, I know. It's so disappointing. That's <laughs> very, very interesting. Though. Mark, thanks for coming out today. Thanks for having me. Good to see you.